Beneath the streets of Naples, Italy, an ancient monster is stirring. Campi Flagre doesn't loom as a towering cone on the horizon like Vesuvius. Instead, it sprawls silently across a vast caldera, its presence hidden beneath neighborhoods, schools, and bustling piazzas. Yet what lies beneath this deceptive calm could change the course of history. For months, the ground has been rising at an accelerating pace. Fissures are groaning with seismic swarms, and fumaroles are roaring louder than ever before. Scientists are warning that pressure deep within the crust is mounting, and new evidence suggests magma may be inching its way toward the surface. Imagine living atop a supervolcano with the power to bury cities in ash, darken skies across continents, and disrupt global climate. That is the reality for more than half a million people who make their homes inside Campi Flagre's Red Zone. The question is not whether this supervolcano has the potential to erupt, it has done so many times before, but whether its recent rumblings are the prelude to the next disaster. As pressure intensifies and magma rises, the world watches nervously. Is Campi Flagre on the brink of awakening? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Campi Flagre caldera is a complex volcanic system formed by two colossal eruptions. The Campanian Innumbrite eruption, some 39,000 years ago, and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, about 15,000 years ago. Together, these blasts reshaped southern Italy, blanketing vast swaths of Europe in ash and creating the wide depression that today lies beneath cities and coastlines. Within this basin, dozens of craters, fumaroles, and hydrothermal vents testify to the simmering heat below. Unlike discrete volcanic cones, Campi Flagre operates as an interconnected network of magma chambers, hydrothermal systems, and fractures that extend deep into the crust. This makes it both difficult to monitor and exceptionally dangerous. Pressure can accumulate invisibly, and magma can exploit multiple pathways to reach the surface. The system's complexity ensures that no two unrest episodes are ever alike, adding uncertainty to every new seismic swarm and every fresh uplift of the ground. One of the most striking features of Campi Flagre's activity is Bray de Sisum, the slow inflation and deflation of the caldera floor. Since the mid-20th century, residents of Pozzuoli and surrounding towns have watched their streets rise by several meters only to later sink back down. This restless breathing is caused by fluids and magma moving within the crust, altering pressure and deforming the ground. During the 1980s, uplift reached nearly two meters, prompting evacuations before subsiding once more. In recent years, however, the pace has quickened again. Measurements show uplift occurring at rates of centimeters per month, punctuated by bursts of seismic swarms. Each new millimeter of ground movement is a warning that the system beneath is straining under pressure. Scientists debate whether the cause is superheated water and gas, or the upward push of magma itself. Increasingly, the evidence suggests a combination of both, with magma intrusions supplying heat and pressure to the shallow hydrothermal system. Earthquakes are Campi Flagre's most immediate and alarming signal. In 2023 and 2024, the region recorded some of the strongest seismic swarms in decades, including tremors above magnitude 4. For a densely populated region where buildings are not designed to withstand large earthquakes, even moderate events sow panic. More importantly, the location and depth of these quakes reveal what is happening underground. Many of the recent tremors originate at depths of 2 to 4 kilometers precisely where geophysical imaging suggests magma and fluids are accumulating. The shallow nature of these swarms raises fears that magma may be fracturing the crust, searching for a pathway upward. Though no eruption has yet followed, each quake swarm leaves the crust weaker, more fractured, and increasingly primed for magma ascent. The community now lives in a state of nervous vigilance, where every shaking windowpane is interpreted as a possible harbinger of disaster. For decades, scientists believed that the restless behavior of Campi Flagre was driven largely by its vast hydrothermal system, an enormous underground cauldron of superheated water and gases. 
Ground uplift, earthquake swarms, and fumarolic activity were often attributed to changes in this hydrothermal pressure rather than to intruding magma. Yet recent evidence suggests a more sobering possibility. Magma itself may now be playing a direct role in fueling the unrest. High-resolution geophysical surveys have illuminated a patchwork of partially molten zones beneath the caldera. These hotspots of conductive material, detected through magnetotelluric imaging, are consistent with magma intrusions linked by potential pathways toward the surface. Seismic swarms occurring at shallow depths indicate that fractures in the crust are opening, creating potential conduits for molten rock. At the same time, fumaroles at sites like Pissurelli and Solfatera have shown a spike in carbon dioxide emissions, a chemical fingerprint more often associated with degassing magma than with hydrothermal boiling alone. This convergence of seismic, geophysical, and geochemical evidence make it clear that magma is slowly rising through the crust, pressurizing the hydrothermal system above it. While this does not guarantee an imminent eruption, it suggests that Compi Flagre is entering a more dangerous phase. One, in which magma is no longer confined to deep storage, but is intruding into levels close enough to eventually break through. Few volcanic systems on Earth overlap so completely with a major urban landscape as Compi Flegre. The caldera itself is not a distant mountain, but a sprawling depression that stretches beneath bustling towns, highways, harbors, and neighborhoods. Entire districts of Naples, Italy's third largest city, lie within its highest hazard zones. The red zone, defined by Italian civil protection, encompasses nearly half a million residents while millions more in the surrounding metropolitan region would face indirect consequences from ashfall, gas emissions, and infrastructure collapse. The risks are compounded by the geography of the region. Narrow, congested roads twist through the caldera, many of them centuries old and ill-suited for mass evacuation. Moving hundreds of thousands of people out of danger within days, or even hours, would strain emergency services to the breaking point. Economically, Naples is a hub of southern Italy, with ports, airports, and industries that link the region to the global economy. An eruption, even on a modest scale, could cripple transportation, devastate tourism, and plunge communities into long-term instability. In this sense, Compi Flagre's threat is not confined to fiery flows and ash clouds. It extends to the very social and economic fabric of southern Italy. Volcanology has advanced tremendously, yet predicting eruptions remains fraught with uncertainty. Instruments today record every tremor, tilt, and whiff of gas at Compi Flagre. Satellites measure ground deformation to the millimeter. AI models are now being applied to detect hidden patterns in earthquake swarms. Still, the central question, when will magma break through, remains elusive. Some scientists argue the caldera is approaching a breaking point after decades of accumulated pressure. Others caution that the system has a history of unrest that subsides without erupting. The danger lies in both overestimating and underestimating the risk. Raising alarm prematurely could cause panic, yet ignoring the signs could spell catastrophe. The balance between vigilance and measured response defines the challenge for Italy's Civil Protection Department and the international scientific community. Italian authorities maintain an emergency plan for Compi Flegre, including evacuation protocols for the Red Zone. Yet implementing such a plan in real time would be a logistical nightmare. Moving hundreds of thousands of residents through congested roads while ash begins to fall is a scenario fraught with peril. Hospitals, schools, and prisons complicate the picture further. Preparedness requires constant drills, public education, and infrastructure investment. The government has already reinforced vulnerable buildings and allocated funds for seismic upgrades, but much remains to be done. As pressure beneath the caldera intensifies, the urgency of these preparations becomes undeniable. The window to act may close swiftly if magma continues to rise. The road ahead for Compi Flagre is defined by uncertainty, but also by intensifying concern. The volcano has demonstrated through uplift, seismic swarms, 
and increasing gas emissions that the system remains restless and under pressure. Whether this unrest culminates in an eruption or subsides as it has in the past is impossible to predict with precision, yet the long-term trend is troubling. Each new cycle of ground uplift weakens the crust, fractures pathways for magma, and raises the baseline of hazard. If magma is indeed intruding into shallower levels of the crust, the chances of eruptive activity in coming years are higher than they have been in decades. For the millions living in and around Naples, the future hinges on preparedness as much as geology. Civil protection authorities continue to refine evacuation plans, test communication systems, and reinforce infrastructure, but the logistical challenge remains immense. Whether Compi Flagre erupts tomorrow, next year, or centuries from now, the warning signs demand vigilance. The caldera's future will be written in pressure, fractures, and the resilience of those living in its shadow.